Hey everybody, Glucko CDC here. Got a quick unboxing review for you. Um, well, I'll look at comparison. So if you saw the thumbnail, you know what's up. So I got this IR2 Pro uh, keychain light. And, uh oh, <laughs> hate it when that happens. Let's uh, see if we can get into it. Okay, yep. Disaster averted. All right, this is their little keychain light. And I've already got one of the, the older model, the black one, so we're going to replace that. Check it out. We got it in the what kind of blue, are they calling this? I think it was lake blue. Uh, yeah, okay. It's blue. So it looks like we get a little manual. And this is USB C, so you get a little charging cable. on the back of this thing. Low, high, and off. Okay. Okay, so it did come with a little bit of a charge. That's nice. You get your low and your high. And you just unscrew it a little bit for off, and then if you screw it a lot, that shows there a little USB charging port there. Now, I'm interested to see the comparison, so uh, this is mine, and you can see that it's pretty beat up, right? It used to be all black, and now it's not so much because I've carried it for so long. Um, so, it's seen a little little bit of wear, wear and tear on it. It's got some patina. Um, but, curious to see what... The difference in output is because this is 180 lumens I believe and I forget what this one was but I don't think it's 180 let's check it out so let's see let's do a little comparison on it so here's our low light and then our bright light Yeah, you can definitely see that the new one is quite a bit brighter. It looks like the throw's a little bit longer, too. Yeah, definitely a little bit nicer there. You can also see it's it's a bit bigger. That's what she said. Um, uh, a little bit bigger here. So, it's a keychain light, but it's going to take up a little more real estate in the pocket there. A little bit thicker too. And who doesn't like that? Um, that's what she said. So, yeah. Let's go back to our low light. Looks like they're pretty similar. It's the same five lumens on the the IR2 Pro. So. Yep. Got that little size difference there. So we'll see what that feels like after I've carried it for a little while. Also be curious to see if it takes quite the beating that uh, my other one did. This guy is taking uh, quite the beating. So I'll be curious to see, you know, it probably is, probably aluminum anodized. Uh, it's more than likely this finish is going to come off over time, and we'll kind of see. Really interested to get my hands on one of the titanium ones. That way, if I get anodized titanium, then I should fare a little bit better than these, or even the gray titanium, so no finish at all. That way I won't have to worry about all of it rubbing off and kind of looking like this, uh, which I'm, I'm not a super fan of. It's one of the reasons I'm not a real big fan of DLC-coated knives. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So, there's your IR2 Pro. And, uh, yeah. 
So as always, uh, if you like this kind of stuff, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, what kind of keychain flashlight is your favorite? Do you use these or do you have another one that you think is better? Um, I mostly carry Olight, but, you know, I'm open to other brands if they have the same quality and definitely cost to quality ratio. Um, I'll also say that, you know, I'm more than willing to pay extra for Made in the USA if I can get my hands on it. Um, I'm a quality over quantity kind of person. Uh, but anyway, uh, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, I'll catch you on the next one.